you're watching 8-bit days a week and I'm gonna be playing another game that did not have any uh, like a PS1 port and in fact this did not have any home console port again um, it sorta had but they kinda changed it this is run and gun a basketball game from Konami so the title may be weird it's not a shooting game or something but yeah so as I mentioned it sort of had like a home console port in the form of uh, NBA give and go for the Super Nintendo so it's the same but it had an NBA license um, so in some aspects that's actually better of course the yeah it even has the same music Yep, and same cutscenes, but yeah, this does not have the NBA license. Alright, some performance hiccups there. So I suppose this is the only way you can play this game. Run and gun. Ah. The because the uh, on the Super Nintendo the animation of course is not as smooth as this. So this may not have the NBA license, but this an honestly plays better. Yeah. Yeah. I remember clearly this was a very popular game in the <laughs> arcades at least from where I'm from back then it's one of those games that regularly has people playing even at, at the time where fighting games dominated the arcades this actually had like a sequel run and gun 2 but um, I haven't tested it off but it doesn't work on the PlayStation Classic I can't get it to run so I'll see if I can uh, find some way maybe I just haven't tried the right core or something Oof. All right, number twenty-three. I mean, oddly enough, I noticed that this was a more popular game in from where I'm from. Than uh, NBA Jam. I'll try NBA Jam soon, of course. 
All right. Did I just anyway <laughs> anyway um I guess uh, you guys have a good idea how this game performs on the PlayStation Classic and if you're curious I tried this on the Super Nintendo Classic as well it I don't think I ever got it to run though on that so plus points once again for the PlayStation Classic and um, yeah, you're watching 8-Bit Days a Week. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be trying more arcade games soon. And thanks for watching.